Salutations! Welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP the 365 Day Challenge. The reboot. So, <clears throat> oh, more light bugs. Um, so, yeah, so yesterday we, uh, <laughs> at the very last second, uh, put up a uh, replica or, or uh, an approximation of the uh, Salyut 1. Uh, Soviet space station um, called Vega One by uh, by the Tantaris mod pack, or called Vega. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to do uh, a mission to bring a a Soyuz craft, otherwise known as Tantaris, uh, up to the station and dock. So, uh, well, I'll meet you on the launch pad. All right, and here we are. And uh, so, yeah, this is our our rocket today, and it is a uh, we've we've got the the usual R7, um, but with the addition of this upper stage, which uh, the name of it escapes me at the moment, but it's it's Molinova something something like that. It starts with an M. Um, it was notably used to, uh, uh, or it, sh it shares a name with a, a type of orbit that the Russians used. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so you've got, uh, just the strap-on boosters and the sustain stage, and the second stage up here. And then up here in the fairing, we've got, uh, we've got Tantaris, uh, which is the, the Soyuz, uh, look-alike. Anyway, this, uh, <coughs> this particular mission is kind of a uh, uh, replicating um, Soyuz 10 and its trip to uh, Salyut 1. Um, and also uh, Soyuz 11. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about those missions in the real world um, in a bit. Um, first we need to kind of line up our orbit. So uh, because we put uh, Vega 1 into a inclined orbit, we need to take some additional measures while we're um, uh, getting ready to fly. And... Nope. Uh, close enough. Wow, this is actually going to be a, a pretty nice... Um, pretty nice rendezvous, I think. All right, so here we go. So yeah, so uh, Soyuz 10 and 11. Um, so Salyut 1 um, was the very first space station, uh, really. Um, there had been uh, dockings before then, uh, Soyuz Four and five and six and seven; uh, those two pairs uh, docked with each other. Um, I th at least I think those are the correct pairings. I could be wrong. Um, might have been like seven and eight and five and six, but anyway. Uh, so Soyuz ten was the the first mission to. Uh, um, Uh, Soyuz 10 was the first mission to Salyut, uh, but it was marked by a number of failures. Um, the most uh, obvious of which was that it failed to dock properly. Um, uh, it achieved soft dock, but it couldn't. Um, they couldn't actually get the the hard dock necessary to to open the hatch. Um, but it also as I'm maybe remembering it wrong, but I, I also think they, like, their solar panels failed to deploy properly, like, you know, there was a whole bunch of stuff. But, um... But, yeah. Then there was, uh, Soyuz 11. And that was... a... both a triumph and a tragedy. Because... The, the crew of Soyuz 11, um, uh, and I, it's it's very difficult to pronounce their names, but you should look it up. Um, uh, 
they launched to orbit, and I'm just coming up on boosters up here. Bad could be worse. Um, so yeah, so uh, Soyuz 11 um, managed to achieve a hard dock with Salyut 1, which was very good, and it uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, and. Uh, and they spent, I think, like 23 days in orbit in, in Salyut. Um, and that set a number of records. For one thing, it was the first crew to ever inhabit a space station, um, which is just incredible. Um, but it was also um, the longest anybody had ever spent in orbit. Um, it, was, it was truly amazing. Unfortunately, it was marred by tragedy um, because when Soyuz 11 undocked and went to to land, um, went to return, um, everything seemed to be going fine. But then, when the recovery crews uh, found the capsule, um, they found that the parachutes had deployed and. The capsule was intact, but all three cosmonauts were dead. Um, <clears throat> it was later uh, revealed. Oh, lost our, our first stage there. Um, we're pointing in entirely the wrong direction. Um, the a further investigation revealed that a pressure relief valve had malfunctioned, and the cosmonauts had asphyxiated on their descent. Um, so, you know, a bit of a downer there. Um, but, again, it's it's incredible to think these guys, they did things that no human had ever done before. You know, even, even in their last days, they were pioneers. So, I, I like to think, I like to think more like that. So, it looks like our orbits are going to be um, a little mismatched. But we can correct. Anyway, I think uh, I I do think we're going to space today. Um, I'm gonna separate our fairings and a little bit of a kick because it's uh, attached to our uh, our launch escape system. And actually, I'm gonna um, just orient this down a little bit and I'm gonna tell it to decouple. And we're gonna continue our burn. Well, we've actually got a very close encounter, 15 kilometers. Very cool. Anyway, I'm going to set up some maneuvers and get us our encounter. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, I'll set up the encounter, and I'll, I'll show that on camera. So, see you in a sec. All right, so we're sliding up to our maneuver node. Should be fairly uh, short. Uh, once we do this burn, I'm going to burn retrograde and dump our upper stage on a suborbital trajectory. <coughs> and then I'll, uh, I'll reboost with the Soyuz itself. Or, sorry, with the Tantares. Alright, so let me point retrograde. Alright, and we're going to deploy. There we go. Beautiful. 
Okay, and we're going to point prograde, and we're going to use our RCS to translate up uh, or up. All right, that's a zero meter, uh, or a point, a zero point zero kilometer encounter. <clears throat> so we want to point uh, retrograde. We'll let our RCS uh, maneuver us here. Alrighty. This is, of course, not a hundred percent accurate to uh, to Soyuz, but that's the thing I love about the Tantares pack is it's it's very much its own thing. You know, it 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 fits within the the style of KSP. So uh, just time accelerate slightly. Uh, just until we're in physics range. Now. And sorry we're in the dark. Oh, burned way too much. Oops. Oh, and we're out of electric charge. Interesting. We need to point at target. All right. Well, good that we've got RCS because our control, our reaction wheels are not going to help us. We are burning through monoprop pretty quick, though. And we're going to wait for docking until we're on the light side. I'm just going to get close. All right, well, let's um, time accelerate um, up and around to uh, the light side. We are drifting away, but uh, not too, too fast. Okay, so now we've got power, which is important. All right, so now we're going to point uh, at our target. And how are we looking for monoprop? Oh, fine. We're fine. So, 
So yeah, uh, Salyut 11 is, I think, very, very telling. It's one of those moments in human history where we really did triumph and overcome. You know, we, we did what needed doing. Anyway. So. Right. And it appears that I don't, for some reason, I don't have the docking assistant uh, installed. Which is a little weird. But I don't think we need it. For one thing, we have these uh, these wonderf wonderful little curse uh, or curse uh, um, uh, docking aids, and even though they don't have any mechanical thing that they do, um, they um, Um, they let you help line yourself up. Alright, so... Just gonna... Push ourselves a little quicker here. We appear to be in the correct plane. There we go. See how the uh, the dishes will line up. Oh. I seem to have placed them incorrectly, so they don't actually line up. But, but they would if I had if I had placed them correctly. Very tense docking here. All right, and there we are, docked. Very cool, and they're actually in just about the wrong position. But if uh, if we spin the whole craft round. This way, you can see how the dishes would line up. That's how they that's how they they docked so well. But anyway, um, but yeah, I'm I'm not actually going to undock this this Soyuz. This is this is going to be a permanent fixture. Um, I might I might uh, I might later at some point. Um, I also realized. Uh, Today, that these solar panels on the uh, on Vega One are incorrect because they'd be more akin to the solar panels on this Soyuz. Um, 
Tantares, the solar panels in Tantares pack, uh, both both these uh, solar panels are from Tantares. Um, they come in both sun tracking and non sun tracking form. So, very cool like that. Well, anyway, that has been our mission, and I highly encourage you to look up the, the real missions uh, Soyuz 10 and Soyuz 11. And, uh, well, anyway, I have been Fox. This has been KSP. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Take care.